Hello, my name is Adam Bean, and today I would like to use uh, or implement serverless function from Project FN Project and combine that with JSONP. So I will use JSONP to serialize and decialize the function parameter. And JSONP comes with Java 7, and I will use the Java 8 version here. So uh, I would like to create a folder called JSONP. 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 And then in this folder, oh, before I start, I will have to start the serverless server in order to, to deploy serverless functions. So the server is uh, started now and the project is created. And then I would like to create a skeleton to scaffold the project uh, FN init. And I would like to use an app JSONP and, uh, sorry, uh, runtime, runtime Java. This is the only thing uh, I have to, to say right now, and later I will have to point to the app if I deploy that. So, it's created. So we can switch to uh, the IDE, and because it's just a Maven project, I can just open and look at that. So what happened right now, it created a simple standalone Maven project with a function asking us, um, acting as a facade, so handle request is going to be invoked by the runtime, and there is a func yaml which points to the method. So um, we have the function here. And what I would like to do is to add uh, the JSONP dependency. And uh, I know that the dependent I have the dependency. It comes with uh, JAXRS dep, dep, JAXRS dependencies. I have small macro and actually what I only need is this. So I delete all the others. I need it for uh, system testing in my Java E7 and 8 applications. And in this particular uh, um, time, I only would like to use the JSONP, which is the reference implementation. Okay, looks good. Uh, everything else is actually not needed um, except the API here. So, but I always, I also will delete the uh, unit test is not needed right now. Okay. So now the function, it uses, uh, it expects string as a parameter and it also emits a string. But instead of that, I would like to use an input event because then I get a reference to the stream and this is what I need. And um, it has to admit an output event and the output event, if we take a look at that, what it needs is uh, not empty result rather than from bytes. We need bytes. We need the status code and it's going to be 200 and the content type we would like to emit application JSON, application JSON. But we need the stream and what we also need here, we would like to convert the input event to a, uh, or get this input stream from the input event and convert it to a JSON object. And this is actually uh, well done. So there is a method consume body, and this is a function which converts an input stream to whatever we like. And what we would like to have is a JSON object. So let's do that. So I would like to implement a method JSON object convert input stream stream and here I can use try and say JSON dot create object builder. Uh, no, create reader. We would like to have a reader, and this reader reads from the stream. And what we get back is the reader. So JSON reader reader equals reader. So we we'll use the oh try with resources, and we have to import the reader. Looks nice, and then I will just return the object. So, like this. And now I can say input dot consume body this convert. So I will just pass the function and return the uh, input. And with that input, I could just call a business method. Just do that. JSON object business some business and the business method json object input will just read the input and create the output let's say let's do that json dot create object builder i would expect this and say add 
uh, result and of course in our case is a heavy computation 42 build so it looks like that so we're just adding result to the um, to the input and uh, now we can invoke the sum business with the input and what we expect is the output so and input as JSON input as JSON output okay now what we have to do we have to convert back the output to bytes and for this purpose we need a writer create writer create writer and what we also need is string writer writer equals new string writer and the string writer has buffer and what we can ask is to get the string and we would like to have the bytes with the character set we should set us the character set but for now is not that important and what uh, what I will get back create writer with the writer and what I get back is the JSON writer JSON writer and I will have to say JSON writer write object and pass the output here I also could use the uh, try with resources but uh, I hope it will work this way so what we did we uh, got from the function runtime the input stream we converted the input stream uh, to a JSON object using this then we invoked a business method with the input expected the output and this could be even injected so we could use a stock uh, Java e CDI here we could use and the string writer now it acts as a buffer and uh, we're writing indirectly to the string writer and then ask the string writer to return the bytes so this is basically it um, so now let's try to deploy that fn deploy app let's call it jsonp and i would like to have a local deployment so and as what we already see is that it uses the jsonp path is deployed so fn routes i think we can say fn route fn routes list and we need the app and the app was jsonp and we see the route here so we can use the route and now use a stock curl command that you can see no magic and h i would like to accept application json and then pass some data and the data is a uh, question question ultimate and this would be HTTP and we have a problem here and we got the result question ultimate result what's also interesting you see uh, the function was invoked and um, it works so uh, what we can do actually because Java E 7 and 8 are already actually modular you could just uh, take pieces from uh, Java E 8 and Java E 7 and deploy it with the function so thank you for watching see you at upcoming conferences ehex.com ehex.io or even in projects so Thank you and bye.